Hands on Dantian. Feet together. And let's bow to each other. Welcome to this hour just for yourself. So gently close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. And side it out. Just release all the tensions. Again, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale through your nose. And let go through your mouth. Bring your awareness into your body. Let go of all the unhelpful thoughts. Send them away. Let go of all the worries, all the stress. Say thank you for the lesson. And farewell. Take a deep breath in. Side it out. Find your center. Check your balance. One more breath. Inhale. Inside it out. Wonderful. I can open your eyes and gently release your palms to the side. Feet shoulder width apart. Just loosen up your body. So gently bend your knees and we'll be bouncing and shaking for a little bit. Just releasing some stagnant energy and release the tension. Keep shaking. And if your neck uh, does not hurt, you can turn your neck left and right. But if you feel dizzy or if you're, you're having a hurting neck, maybe you can just uh, look towards the front. Otherwise, let loose of your neck. Left and right. Shake. Release the tension from your wrist. Just like shaking off the water, let it drip to the floor. <sighs> and if you still have something that you're holding in your heart, you can let it go now with your out breath. <sighs> let go, let go of your stress. If you are having a tough day, let go. Let go. This is our, this hour is just for you. So trigger it. Release the unnecessary weight. Let it go. <sighs> Shake a bit more. Now bounce. Now let's bring our shoulders up and down. Nice, let's scoop up energy and drop. Like a giant water balloon and let it drop on the floor. Splash the water everywhere. Inhale up, exhaling down. Very nice. Shake it off. How are you feeling? Do you have a little bit tingly sensation between your palms? Huh. Good. Okay. Now I'll be introducing you a, a new Qigong form. Um, I don't know how to translate it into English, but in Chinese, it's Ping Shui Gong, which is designed by Grandmaster Li Fengshan. 
Uh, so bring your feet about shoulder width apart and toes pointing to the front parallel and bring your both arms to the front, uh, shoulder high. So this is uh, bend your knee gently. So one, two, three, four, and the five, you sinking down. I'll show you my side. So one, two, three, four, the five, bounce, bounce. That's five. And we'll cut. Uh, keep doing this. One, two, three, four, bounce, bounce. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the motion and the body structure. On the five, I think it could be challenging for some, but remember to do the Bounce, bounce. So bounce down and then bounce up. That's the five. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And the five is the out breath. So from one to four, you can breathe in naturally or you can actually inhale. <laughs> So the five is let go, okay? Um, for me, I prefer to just breathing the first four naturally and then the five release until you're so good at that, you can challenge yourself with a different breathing. But for now, let's just feet parallel, toes pointing to the front, shoulder width apart, and then one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. Let go. Release, one, two, three, four, 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 five, one. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let your arms swing and let it stop naturally. Now bring your palms facing each other, pretending you're holding an energy ball. How do you feel? How are you feeling? Move your palms around, feeling your chi ball. If you feel the temperature change, the tingly sensation, the magnetic, ele electromagnetic, magnetic feeling around your fingertips, that's the, the feeling of chi. So if you can feel that, let's keep that. Let's play with our chi ball for a little bit. So imagine this ball that you can make it smaller and you can stretch it, make it bigger. You can turn it 360. It's a sphere. It's a ball. All right. Just play with your energy ball in between your hands. If you can still feel the sensation, that's great. That's wonderful. Just keep playing with that. All right. It's just my habit that I'm bending my knees gently. You, at this moment, you can choose not to. If you have bad knees, you can just choose into standing up, upright. But for me, I, I like to lower my stance a little bit. Okay. While you're still having the sensation of the chi ball between your palms, send it out. Bring that back in. Send it down. Bring it up. Send it out. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, very nice, better, together. Are you still feeling the chi ball? So uh, I want to play a little game with y'all. So while you're holding the chi ball, remember the sensation. Um, okay, this is just an energetic game that we are going to play. Finding on the base of the palm, do you see the lines, the, the lines there? You have two lines here and you have two lines here, right? So bring your palms together and that those lines attach and next to each other, line them up, align those two lines, the left and right. And now check your, your pinky. So usually our pinky, <laughs> one side is longer, the other side is shorter. They are they are not identical. Did you check your palms? Make a mental note. So for me, my my left pinky is a bit longer than my right pinky. How about you? Don't tell anyone. Just remember that in your remember the answer in your in your mind. Keep it as a secret for yourself. Okay. So you remember the answer? Let it go. Let's play with our chi ball again. And you still have that feeling. 
the uh, chi sensation between your palm. Let's play with the, the shorter one. Let's help the shorter one grow a tiny bit longer, just tiny bit, using your, your energy, your chi to help. Just like watering the plant, sending the loving, kind energy to help your shorter pinky just grow a tiny bit longer. Not too much, just a tiny bit. Sending the energy to help it. Can you feel anything? You can borrow it with mine. <laughs> I'm sending you some energy if you need some, but you don't have to take mine. You have your own, just in case you need some. Okay, help your pinky grow a bit longer. All right, and then shake it off. It was just a silly game that you can play with your kids, your grandkids, or your, your friend in the party. Okay, now find the lines. Align them again. I check. Are they about the same height? <laughs> it's just a really fun, energetic game. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Tell me, did it work for you? Is your shorter pinky grow longer already? I'll come back to check the um the comments later. So yeah, it's a very fun little game that you can you can play with your, with your little little ones. So today I'm going to show you um, Flying Dragon, but before that, a great uh, warm up we can do is with plate. You don't need to hold a plate on your hand. I'm just using that as an illustration. And you can just use your bare hand, pretending that you're holding a plate. So um, the first, I'll show you my side view. Pretend you have a plate. I have one, one hand on your waist or behind you. We'll just work with one side of our body. So for me, right now, I'm stepping with my right foot. Come back in, lead with your pinky, and then going up, coming back down. So in and up. Lead with your pinky, warming up your joints. This plate exercise is wonderful. You get work with all of your joints and the whole body. Nice. Now reverse the direction, lead with your thumb. Going up first, coming back down. Going out. And relax down. Up and down, like drawing the number eight in the air. Nice. Let's change side. If you work with your right side, now work with your left side. So one hand behind your back and one foot step. To the front, Gong Bu, the, the bow and arrow stance, the bow stance. Okay, lead with pinky, in and rock back. Big circle. See the rocking motion of the body. 
So this is not just the exercise for your shoulders, your arms, your elbows, but also for your legs. You can incorporate with your breathing too. Ask your body at what moment I want to breathe out and what moment I want to breathe in. Let your motion guide your breathing. All right, let's uh, reverse. Little red thumb. Out. How do you feel? So we did a one minute exercise each uh, side. Well, two minutes on my right side, two minutes on my left side. Internal one minute, external another minute. Internal and external. So that's a four minute exercise. It's very easy to remember, very simple to do. You can do it every day, only take four minutes. Should we have a four minutes challenge for this exercise? <laughs> you can type if you have done your four minutes plate exercise every day under the um, comment section. So I can check to see if you have done your homework. Wonderful. Now I'll introduce you to the uh, yin yang symbol I like to call it yin yang symbol. Some people just call it tai chi or tai chi symbol. To me, tai chi is a lot more than just a symbol. It's a it's a philosophical concept. So I'll call the um, the tai chi symbol yin yang symbol because that re represent the yin and the yang. The dark, the light, the the positive, the negative, the the heavy, the light, the that's the polarity, the one and zero. <laughs> okay. But now let's just draw the yang symbol in the air. Starting with breathing, inhale, exhale, sinking down. Let's do a few in exhale. Inhale, exhale. In last one, breathing out. Step a bit wider, big circle. And exhaling down. So imagine you're holding an energy ball between your palms. At the same time, you're drawing a big circle in front of you. Inhale up. Exhaling down. Let's draw one more big circle. Breathing. In, breathing out, and now let's bring the circle to 12 o'clock on the top, inhale, and now let's cut through with the S shape in the middle, exhale. Now going up again, inhale, exhale. Breathing in and breathing out.
Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. S shape from 12 o'clock. Exhale. Now you're familiar with this movement. Let's add in with our weight transferring between the legs. So you may notice that I'm moving my weight from one side to the other. Inhale up. Exhaling down. Inhale up. From 12, cut through. And you can turn your waist. Inhale up. Exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhaling down. The last one, let's draw an S shape from 12 o'clock. S shape and turn your waist. Back to the small circle, feet together. Sinking. Exhale. Nice, breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands on Dan Tian. So if you're a female practitioner using your right palm, touch your lower Dan Tian. And if you're, so the left hand will be on the top. But if you're a male practitioner, use your left palm, touch your lower Dan Tian and use your right palm, cover your left hand. And for me, that's the right palm. All right, this is the closing. We are ready to dive into the flying dragon. <laughs> I will show you the um, easy one first, or should I show you the, the harder one? I'll show you the harder one, because uh, that requires more of a twisting and turning. So we are playing with the chibo earlier, right? All right, to begin, we hold a chi ball, a smaller one, and then we turn it. Big one, now it's that. So I'm show you, showing you the harder one, flying dragon. You cut, you don't stop right there. You turn, keep turning, twisting your body. And then, stepping again, twisting your body. I'll just do two steps because if I step more, I'll be out of the frame. Okay, I'll move myself back a little bit. That's two steps already. Now, bring the back leg to the front. Okay, I'll move back to the front and turn your body towards uh, the front leg like this. So we're, we'll be drawing a big circle this way again. Big circle, and now let's make the big circle become two smaller circle, just like the yin yang symbol. The two tad balls or two taiji fish seen in the inside of the symbol. So like that, it's almost like our plate, right? Remember our plate exercise we just did earlier? Let's do it again. So from here, your, your body is up, twist, ah, step. And forward, big circle become two smaller circle. So you're about to fly, but then since we were twisted, you turn, flying to that, the opposite direction. Let's do it again. So starting from the smaller chibo, become big one, step, and this is the hard one, so we twist. Another step, we twist our body, 
step and bend or coming back this way. One big ball become two smaller balls and fly to the other directions. This is just one side. Let's do the other side. Step in, cut through, twist your body. The other steps, twist. And now the back leg step to the front. Okay, time to turn the directions. Form a big ball and then to a smaller ones. And then twist and fly. Let's do a one more time this direction. So one, two, and step sideways, big circle, big ball become two smaller ones, fly. Okay, let's string those two beads together like making a necklace, we'll do uh, two steps towards that direction and then two steps toward this direction. Okay. So, oh, big ball, cut and twist. One more step, cut, twist, step. Fly, hold a big ball, cut, twist, cut, twist, step, and change directions. Wonderful. So you all warm up yet? Yeah. Do you like the flying dragon? So this one is more challenging one and if your range of motion is does not allow you to do the uh, the harder one, the challenging one, that's what we'll be practicing now. That will be stationary. You don't have to step step. You will always stay right here, and you don't even need to twist your body that much. You can keep your body always facing this way or the most the sideways. That will be uh, less challenging for if you have any injury or or you're just simply not exercising for a while. This will be great for you. So again, starting from holding a ball. Inhale. Our empty stance, ready to step. So just cut. Now you don't have to twist your body this way. You can stay right here. And still the legs, the bow stance, the bow and arrow, bow stance. And remember the palm, this palm facing the earth and this palm facing the sky. So that's the yin and yang. This one facing earth, this one facing sky. Now come back to the center. Twist your toes so that pointing to the center while you're holding a ball in front of you. So this is the big one. Now we are going to make the big one become two smaller ones. And then we can just fly. That's much simpler. Now come back, holding a ball, empty stance. Oh, we don't have to leave that up, I'm just showing you. Yeah, you, you, you can just leave your toe on the, on the ground. Okay, so from, the, from here, we're flying. This is three, right? One is holding the ball, two is cutting, and three, we fly. Come back. This is one. And cut. This is two. And three, let's fly. Only three steps. So after fly, both palm facing the sky. It's like you're holding the plate. That's why we, we did the, the plate exercise earlier. Don't drop your plate when you're flying. That's your lunch. 
or your dinner <laughs> or breakfast. Let's do it again. Cut. Big ball. You come to smaller ones and fly. Exhale. Come back. Big ball. Breathing in. Cut. Breathing out. Breathing in. Big ball. Two smaller ball. Fly out. Exhaling. Again. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Come back to center. Breathing in. Stepping. Cut. Breathing out. Back to center. Big ball. To a smaller one and breathing out. Fly. A few more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Smaller, smaller, becomes two. Exhale, fly away. Come back, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. One more set, last one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, back to center. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. One more. Breathing in, breathing out. Hands on that chin. How do you feel? This is our flying dragon today. We, I showed you two versions. The first one is the more challenging one. And the second one is the easier one. The, the first one, you can keep stepping. We only did two steps here because my space is limited. But if you have a bigger classroom or, or you're in a park, you can just keep stepping. You can do four, you can do as many as you want and then come back with a flying. The flying will change direction and then you can uh, do the other side, keep going and then fly. You wanna share <laughs> your experience about the flying dragon? Hi Mike, thank you. Mike said this live session is so cool. <laughs> thank you. Wow, you're welcome and thank you for, for your encouragement. I really like the flying dragon. And I found I like the 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 twisting one more because they they make make me work more. And you all know that I like to work with my spinal waves. So we did uh, two versions of a flying dragon. And we had our yin yang symbol, and we have our we had our plate exercise. Also, the ping shui gong that that one that one is so important. In the beginning, remember we we did the the 
the ping shui as the warm up. One, two, three, four, and bounce, bounce on the five. One, two, three, four, bounce, bounce. I think we did about four minutes or five minutes. I don't remember. It feels long, but it's actually very short. I would encourage you to do that 30 minutes a day. It's not that hard. It's it's a, it's a moving meditation. I think in the beginning it might be really hard because you have to memorize the moves and, and do the counting like one, two, three, four, five, bounce, bounce, and then again. But once your body get used to the motion, it, your body uh, get used to the, the rhythm, it will be just so relaxing to just to do it for 30 minutes. So thanks to Grandmaster Li Fengshan, a wonderful teacher, wonderful master. Ken, <laughs> thanks. It was lots of fun. And yes, my, my pinky got longer. <laughs> All right. So are they even now or or the shorter one becomes the longer one? That's creepy, right? And it's scary. <laughs> it's fun. I seem discovered the live session by happy accent. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Will they be a regular thing? Yes, I'm planning to do that um, bi-monthly or bi-weekly. I don't know. Every other week. That's what I mean. So I'm doing the live this Tuesday or maybe in your place, there will be Wednesday morning. I don't know. Anyway, 14 days from today. Same time, yes, I'll do it. I'll do it again. And I'm planning to do the live sessions every other Saturday, uh, every other Tuesday till the end of this year. How's that? Mike, I will need to review the video, but I love the flying dragon. Nice, I know it's a, a a little bit complicated it's a pretty yeah it's it's a complicated move especially the first one the first blind dragon that i show you but um i think the second one should be all right we have been practicing the the second second one in our classroom the whole time we love that one diana i like the flying and the yin yang symbol thank you thank you i'm glad you like it so if you're watching my um, other videos, I think I have one. It's the 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 yin yang flow. I uh, I just bring in the the yin yang symbol practice that we we are practicing today here into that flow. So some people are, were <laughs> they, they were asking me what's the origin and and is there any way to to find the historical document of the the form the the yin yang flow form that i performed last year or two years ago i don't remember a while back no you're, you're not able to find a historical document because that's just me that that's my free flow however the yin yang symbol you i'm sure you can find a historical document about the yang symbol and in fact oh i'm curious so are you all uh are you all able to follow the yin yang symbol that i show you today <laughs> is that hard i hope it's not because i discovered i i can just show you and you follow and then you are actually practicing the foundation of the silk reeling. <laughs> so yeah, since we're talking about silk reeling, we, we use two hands together already, right? Big circle, big circle, and we cut through from 12 and make a shape and reverse. After we cut through, the direction automatically reversed. So one and two and three, you can do whatever numbers you like cut through 
And in today's exercise, we only did a cut through from 12 o'clock. You can cut through from nine, from three, wherever you want, right? It does not need to be from the top. It's a free flow. And we did two hands. So supposedly, I remember when I was younger, when I uh, started to, to learn Tai Chi Quan. So we, yeah, most of people call, call, call that Tai Chi, but the real pronunciation is Tai Chi Quan. <laughs> my, my, my master will wake our heads if we, we, we say it's Tai Chi. He wants us to say Tai Chi Quan. But um, yeah, um, when I was younger, when I was learning the Yin Yang symbol thing, we have to learn from just one hand. So it's pretty much the same thing. We did one hand. And when we are familiar with the moves, we'll do the other side. So we'll practice both sides, one hand. And you may notice that it's not just the, the arm movement, that's the whole body, right? I'm using my body to do the turning, changing directions. And it's how it's supposed to be in most of the, the form. Most of the postures, we, we don't just move our hands, we, we turn our body for the motion. And yeah, so after right hand, after left hand, you put two hands together. And that's one whole day of so workshop and see, we only did it like in 10 minutes <laughs> or 15. So I think you guys are pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> the backdrop looks great too. Nice improvement. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So pick, <laughs> thank you, a new Qigong move for me. Need more practice. My pinky become longer too. Ah. <laughs> I hope this, the shorter one didn't become longer than, than the, the taller one. <laughs> That's not my fault, you're the one who did that. <laughs> okay, Diana, that's great. Love this new move. But I really like the way you teach. It feels smooth. Thank you. That's such a wonderful encouragement. Thank you. Okay. So then next session will be on the 29th, August. Yes. Yes. I wonder where is your time zone. But yeah, I, I'm in New York time. So, so it will be 7 p.m. Tuesday night for me. And... I'm guessing might be Wednesday morning for you. I'm, I don't know where you are, but I hope you, you'll find that time convenient for you. Good, well, attend your class. Thank you. I hope to see you in two weeks. It was easy to follow. Oh, wonderful, Mike. So yeah, so I found that if I just show y'all, two hands together, it's not that hard, right? They're just together and imagine you're holding a energy ball in between. Yes, I like painting the yin yang in space. Wonderful. So in white Korean, we also paint the yin yang in air, in space, except today we're doing the vertical yin yang symbol in front of us. And there is another exercise. Maybe we, we can do that next time. There's a lot of coiling and that's more on the horizontal plane. And eventually we'll do the 360s and that's how, how we play with the Tai Chi ball. Have you all played with the Tai Chi ball before? Not just the, the Chi ball, um, I'm talking about the physical either wooden or or marble ball. Some people use metal, but I, I, I prefer wood. It feels warm in the hand. 
so yeah, you, you, you will be using the, the Tai Chi ball practice. Oh yeah, I also include that in, in my in my Yin Yang symbol flow video too. Yeah, some people ask where, where it's from. So I included the Yin Yang symbol and, and the Tai Chi ball exercise and also some crane, crane exercise. Mm. Yes, I like painting the yang in space. Diana. Oh, but Nate will be teaching on his YouTube channel the other week. They are sharing the teaching. Yes, yes. So last Tuesday, I was attending Nate's class. He's a wonderful teacher. And this week, I'm teaching in my channel. Next week, Nate will be teaching in his channel. Nate is not here today, you know why? Because, <laughs> well, we are three time zones apart. Where I live, the, the weather is kind of nice, but where he lives, it's super hot. So they had to, to go, go somewhere else. And during this time, I think they're still traveling. So he has no access to, to our life today. Yes, Nate is a wonderful teacher. Next Tuesday will be on his channel. Dave, I was just getting ready to ask about the story that would go along with the motion. So I guess I already told you the story, right? <laughs> and I'm assuming you're you're asking about the Yang symbol. Huh? She do it to do it. <laughs> I wasn't. Perfect, but the gentle movement feel great after mowing, huh? Mowing earlier? So you cut your grass earlier? Love having these moves to practice with. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. I love to share. You can say a small circle and large circle. Nice, <laughs> looking forward to it. So I'm so glad you like uh the dragon, right? From big circle to a small circle and then fly away. There's a lot of twisting. So, oh, I'm sure you, you follow Master Shi Heng Yi, right? He's such a cool master. So we're doing the, the flying dragon today here. Okay. So, uh, mm. here, twisting, turning, twisting. You will find Master Shi Heng Yi from Shaolin Temple Europe. He's amazing. He he's Yi Jin Jin. You'll find similar movements. He's wonderful and he he offers uh, a lot of free materials too. Yeah, he's a wonderful teacher. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> and I I'm so appreciate that. Yeah, you, you show up with gifts every time. Thank you, Mike. That means a lot to me because I'm a, a very small YouTuber. And with your support, that, that just encouraged me to wanting to share even more. And I really enjoy sharing what I know with you all. That's wonderful. Thank you, Mike. So we still have uh, about five minutes left. And I'm guessing I pretty much answered all the questions. So how about before we leave, we, let's do a, a flying dragon again. So we'll do maybe a few times the, the more challenging one, and then, then we'll come back to the simpler one. So, so from a small ball to a big ball, Step and turn, twist your body. The other side, twist. Step in and fly. Step. Then, ah. <laughs> From big ball to smaller ball, I'm almost bumping into the wall. Fly. 
right. One more time, the more challenging one. Twist. Holding a ball, stepping. Twist. And step. Holding a big ball. Becoming two smaller one. Fly. Exhaling. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Step, breathing in, and breathing out. Okay, let's practice the simplified. So that will be stationary, will not be stepping anywhere, we'll just stay in the center. Holding the ball to the side, open. And you don't have to twist your body as much. You can just stay here. Big ball to a smaller one and fly, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, holding a big ball. And fly. Exhale. Back to center. So let's close in, breathing in, breathing out. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. So two more. One, breathing in, breathing out, breathing out. Together, bring the energy back to your Dantian, your energetic bank. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. So I bow to you. Wish you a very happy rest of the day, the rest of the week. And I'll see you next week in Nate's channel and two weeks from today, my channel. See you. Bye. Bye, everyone.